The Owlet Sock, the Owlet Sensor, the Owlet Base Station, the Owlet Camera. Do you need all of this to accurately monitor your baby's breathing? Or can baby monitors like the Cocoon Cam or Miku Baby Monitor provide what you need without all of the extras? Well, why don't you just go ahead and pony on up and we'll talk about it. Hello again everybody, this is John with Fathercraft and welcome to our review of the Owlet Cam and the Owlet Sock. So happy to have you here today, let's dive in. The Owlet is a non-traditional monitor that's great for newborns, premature babies, and first time parents who are prone to excessively checking on their baby to make sure she's still breathing. And that's okay, I was one of those parents so no judgment here. The Owlet is a sock that slips over your baby's ankle and tracks her heart rate and blood oxygen levels using medical grade tech. There's also a physical base station that stays by your bed and an app for your phone or tablet. The Owlet base station pretty clearly lets you know what's going on by changing colors. So if you understand what to do when coming to like a stoplight, then you'll catch on pretty easily with this system. Green means normal, you're good to go. Yellow means, whoa, slow down, check that sock placement. Red can mean a couple of things. Either the sock is not connected or there's an out of normal range uh, blood oxygen level or heart rate. The lights on this thing are pretty bright, but a lot of you guys who watched our best baby monitors video of 2019 graciously let us know that you can control the brightness of the lights by simply placing your fingers on the surface for a few seconds. So we appreciate that, thank you. Moving on to the app. You can easily monitor heart rate and oxygen levels from the main screen of the app. If you have the Owlet Cam, you can use the app to view the video stream of your baby as well. There's also a section within the app that displays trends and historical data, including sleep and awake periods, which for me is super important, even well beyond the infant stage. And I'll talk a little bit more about why that's important to me coming up. Coming up. At first, we were kind of skeptical about whether or not the Owlet actually worked and was accurate. So we had some friends of ours who had a premature baby test the Owlet for over three months. And during that time, they actually had a nurse come to their house and administer a hospital grade blood oxygen test. And wouldn't you know it, the Owlet matched the results almost exactly. All right, let's move on to bundles. You can bundle the Owlet sock and the Owlet cam for a cool 400 bucks. If you're not into bundling, the sock is going to cost you around $299 and the camera alone comes in at $150. If the camera is really what you're after, here's what you're gonna get. It streams video in 1080p, which is HD, has HD night vision, background audio capabilities, two-way talk, 130 degree field of view, pinch to zoom within the app, and a temperature sensor. So it compares pretty evenly with other high-end monitors like the Nanit Plus and the Miku. Mounting the camera is unique in that it magnetically attaches to the wall mount. It's kind of fun. Because of this contraption, you're really gonna get any view that you're after. However, that doesn't mean that you can unplug the monitor and take it wherever you want, which is a bit of a bummer. I mean, they were almost there with this type of setup. If, say this was a wireless charger, like smartphones and smart watches have these days, then this would be great. You can unplug it, carry it around with you, uh, place it wherever you need, but no, can't do it. What I really like about this setup is the accuracy you get and the peace of mind that provides. So again, full disclosure, we had some acquaintances of ours test this setup with their newborn and so the following information is coming from them after using it extensively the first thing that they mentioned again was the accuracy as i said before they compared the readings from the outlet sock to readings a nurse who came to their house did with medical grade equipment and again it was spot on that's pretty impressive the other thing they mentioned was its fit and lack of false positives so our testers didn't experience any false positives during the three months of testing and the sock never fell off and this is key as false positives are kind of freaky the other thing they mentioned was ease of use. The app experience, the base station, and the sock are all easy to use and work well together. The last thing they mentioned was the ease of travel. It's easy to travel with the Owlet system. You know, if I were to compare it to my phone here, not a big difference in footprint. So having the camera plus the vitals monitoring really does provide a pretty robust monitoring package. To go along with that, in my opinion, the Owlet camera has the best picture quality out of any other video monitor we've reviewed. So that's saying a lot, because we've reviewed a lot of video monitors. But all of that being said, here's some caveats. For anyone looking for a video monitor, the only way this camera provides value, again, in my opinion, is by bundling it with the sock. The camera is a, a dumb camera. Let me explain. Monitors like the Nanit Plus, Cocoon Cam, Miku Baby Monitors, and others house the heavy duty tech that's in the sensor within the camera itself, making them smart. So all the analytics and data recording happen within the camera. 
If you take away the sock, you're left with a pretty standard camera. You'd basically be clipping its wings. It becomes a flightless bird in a world full of raptors. The sock is really the wind beneath the owlet's wings. All right, you get the picture. Also, there are a lot of things to manage with this bundle. You've got the base station, you've got the socks, you've got the sensor, you've got the camera, you've got the cords. You need to make sure that the sensor is charged. The app does have a battery status indicator, so at least you'll know when the sensor needs to be charged. But again, all of together, it seems like there's a lot of maintenance involved with it. The camera also does not have white noise, so you'll need to plug in a fourth device like this, again, adding to the maintenance of providing your baby with a great sleeping environment. So to wrap it all up, if monitoring vitals is absolutely vital to you, then the outlet bundle is a prime option. To me, monitoring vitals and breathing isn't the most important thing, especially now that Calvin is older. I'm not really worried about blood oxygen levels or heart rate. Um, what I'm more concerned about is his quality of sleep, or in his case, the lack thereof. But if you're a first time parent or have a special situation in your house where you feel like you need that level of monitoring, then the outlet sock and the cam bundle is a great option. Again, when it comes to accuracy, the Owlet sock has been the only one that we've had independently tested against uh, you know, medical grade equipment and it passed muster. But remember, the sock won't fit forever and the camera alone doesn't come with enough valuable features to be at the top of our list of highly ranked baby monitors. But if you're truly looking for a long-term breathing monitoring device beyond the infant stage that doesn't require the use of external devices, there are several options out there. I definitely recommend something like the Cocoon Cam if you're on a budget, or the Miku, if you don't mind dropping some cash, because these monitors don't require wearable devices to monitor breathing, and you'll get a lot of value out of them well beyond the infant years. We also recently reviewed the Lollipop Baby Monitor, and we were actually pleasantly surprised with it. And I bring this one up because it's supposed to have breathing monitoring capabilities starting sometime in 2020, so we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. If you've seen any of our other baby monitor reviews, you may have noticed that I'm a bit of a Nanit fanboy and I'm definitely not ashamed to admit it. If you haven't seen those reviews, then what are you doing? Go check them out. Not right now, in like 30 seconds or so. Anyway, the Nanit technically requires the use of a wearable to monitor breathing, but I won't hold that against them because everything else they do is amazing. And we'll also have a review on Nanit's breathing wear pretty soon, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know when we do. So there you have it. Now you can go ahead and check out our baby monitors review, especially our best baby monitors of 2019, where we list our favorites and some that you should definitely not look at. Also, go ahead and subscribe and like. Paul, my counterpart, forces me to say this every single time and I apologize. I know it's cliche and cheesy and definitely awkward for me to say this, but it really does help us out and we love doing this. So the more you help us, the more we can help you. We'll see you in the next video.